Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan, and I hope you guys are all doing well. Today, we're doing a statistical comparison video between these two players, 80 million pound rated Harry Maguire and Chelsea centre-back David Luiz. Before we get into today's video, I'd like to request that you do subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notifications icon so you can keep up with the content that I'm producing. Disclaimer, I think Harry Maguire is an excellent centre-back. I think he's very good, he's promising, he's Premier League proven, but I think this inflated price is due to a few things. It's due to him being English. It's due to him being, I guess, Premier League proven. It's just due to Premier League tax, a selling team that's in the Premier League. How many times can I say Premier League? And probably most notably, Leicester City do not need to sell Harry Maguire. They don't need the funds, therefore the price is so inflated. I get all that. Having said that, it does look like a transfer is likely between Leicester City and Manchester United, and it looks like they're going to be paying a sum of near 80 million, certainly a world record fee for a centre-back. Which poses the question, is it really worth getting Harry Maguire for that money? So for a bit of perspective, I'm doing a statistical comparison with Chelsea centre-back David Luiz. Now, why did I choose David Luiz? Well, I'm a Chelsea fan, obviously, as you guys know. And David Luiz often throughout the years has been mocked by perhaps being a bit defensively frail. Everyone knows him for his like crazy marauding runs up into midfield, which interestingly Harry Maguire does sometimes too. But you know, also he's got the old brain fart in him, David Luiz. But everyone, well, a lot of people generally think that David Luiz is a defensive liability. So to shed some light and to drop some knowledge on everyone, I'm doing this stats comparison video. So on that, let's take a look at the numbers. Right, T.O. then starting off with goals and assists. Last season in the league, David Luiz scored three goals and got two assists, where Harry Maguire scored three goals, again decent, but got zero assists. So off the bat, David Luiz is winning with five goal contributions to Harry Maguire's Free. Goal contributions are obviously not an essential attribute from your centre back, but it's a very nice positive thing to have in the locker, I guess. Right, tackles and interceptions, the thing where David Luiz is perceived as bad and Harry Maguire apparently 80 million. In the league last season, David Luiz made 2.1 tackles and interceptions per game, which is pretty decent, 2.1, and Harry Maguire made 2.2 tackles and interceptions per game. So you know what? Already off the bat, pretty much on par with defensive actions. Which may shock the average football fan that has this perception of David Luiz being poor defensively and it has perhaps this such a positive reflection on Harry Maguire. They've both got essentially the same numbers and both respectable numbers. Right, let's talk about passes. Last season in the league, David Luiz maintained an 88% pass accuracy average, which is very good, 88%. And Harry Maguire averaged also a very good 85%. Again, very similar, but David Luiz trumps Harry Maguire on passing there. Having a look at key passes, David Luiz makes 0.6 key passes per game, where Harry Maguire makes 0.4 key passes per game. So Luiz just shades it there again, but he's the kind of ball-playing centre-back that you'd probably expect him to have a little bit more creative passing. And he does. So even though David Luiz wins the passing battle, you kind of expect him to in terms of the centre, the mole of the centre back he's in. Maguire's numbers are still very good and respectful. They're just not quite as good as David Luiz. Bad controls per game. David Luiz makes 0.4 bad controls per game, where Harry Maguire makes 0.7 bad controls per game. Again, another thing that you'd expect a Brazilian ball playing centre back to be better at, and he is. Free kicks won. Last season in the league, David Luiz won his team. 0.8 free kicks per game to Harry Maguire's 0.5 free kicks per game. So he's using his body slightly better and winning the free kicks when he needs to, perhaps when there's no out ball. Harry Maguire does trump David Luiz with dribbles though, with 0.5 per game to David Luiz's 0.3 per game. I guess that's when you see Harry Maguire pick up the ball, you know, I guess every other game and dribbles through midfield. Okay, that's enough of the numbers for the moment. The reason I did this video is I wanted to highlight how inflated Harry Maguire's price is. David Luiz was a good example to do the comparison with. I mean, 
you know, you look at someone like Virgil van Dijk for the money, how good he's been and he's worth it. But with Harry Maguire, he is a very good player. But when you compare him to like just a good Premier League centre back like David Luiz or someone who's actually got a bad rep like David Luiz, he loses out in a lot of the statistical battles. It's not just Luiz's negative rep that made me choose him for this video. It's because he's 32 years old as well and obviously Harry Maguire is in his prime at 26. To be honest, I could have picked out a number of Chelsea centre-backs and they would have delivered a point here. I could have picked Kurt Zuma, I almost did. He's been very, very good for Everton. You know, Chelsea picked Zuma up for very little, but you know, how much would Kurt Zuma be now? An international that starts for France and scores, he's Premier League proven, he's younger, and his statistical numbers a lot are better than Harry Maguire also. I do want to reiterate, I like Harry Maguire. I think he's a good player, he was great for England, he's a dedicated professional and a good character by all accounts. It's not his fault that his price tag has been inflated so much and it's pretty much Premier League tax, English international tax. A club that doesn't need to sell tax so it just shows really or highlights how crazy this market has gone and if i was working at manchester united in, and in charge of transfers you fancy like half of that say 40 million pounds or euros you could get some really young exciting ball playing defender from europe and bring them in rather than getting you know all these extra taxes on top of an english international regardless Manchester United need a new centre-back, and of course, Harry Maguire would improve that team, probably almost drastically considering their quality of centre-back at the moment. I just think money could be better spent elsewhere, and also, it just for me isn't doing good things for the market when the world record fee is going up and up and up for players all the time. Chelsea obviously getting Kepa, Riz and Balaga for 72 million was a part of that, but by all accounts, Kepa is a very, very good goalkeeper in comparison to other goalkeepers in the Premier League. Arguably, there's a case for Kepa being the third best goalkeeper behind um, Allison and Edison, and you know, he's, he's still very young. But hey, that's the transfer window, and that's football. Right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Not too much of a long one, but just one I've been thinking about with statistics that I wanted to get out there. Something less solely on Chelsea. Obviously, I've used the Chelsea player in the comparison, but it's more of a talking point at the moment of Harry Maguire. If you have enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe if you're new. And if you want to support my channel, you can become a patron on my Patreon and gain exclusive access to content I make for my patrons. The link will be in the description. Remember to comment all your thoughts down below on my video if you agree, if you disagree with my thoughts on the transfer window, if you think Harry Maguire is worth it, or you just want to talk about centre-back. Oh yeah, and you can follow me on social media on Instagram and Twitter at Football Yannick. I'll write that in the description too. Anyway guys, that's it from me. Enjoy the football and I'll see you later. How I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me back